It's time for our first look at the web. TV6's Molly Birch is at the TV6 digital desk. Molly, tell us what's trending online today. Well, in a game of coffees, fall is coming. It's still summer, but a blaring signal of fall is arriving this week. The pumpkin spice latte is coming back to Starbucks in the U.S. tomorrow. That's earlier than ever and two days earlier than 2023. Starbucks celebrated the drink's 20th anniversary last year. Since its launch, the pumpkin spice latte has been both beloved and mocked as it's ushered in an era of pumpkin spice products. Roughly 10% of Starbucks' overall sales come from seasonal states. That's what the chain revealed today. The timing could give sagging sales a needed jolt. Starbucks' new CEO, Brian Nickel, who has hailed as a corporate fix-it man from his work at Chipotle, starts next month. It's interesting stuff for sure, Vinny. Absolutely. Early for the pumpkin spice this year, Molly. What else is trending mm -hmm. today online? Well, Beyonce is the latest celebrity to get into the liquor business. The superstar singer's new whiskey line is made in partnership with Moet Hennessy and celebrated master distiller Ben Lumsden. It's called Sir Davis, named after Beyonce's great-grandfather. His first name was Davis, and Beyonce's son's name is Sir. Beyonce is one among many celebrities with their own liquor brands. Snoop Dogg has Indago gin while justin timberlake has salsa 901 dwayne the rock johnson is also on the liquor game with Terramena tequila back to you Vinny. thank you for that online update molly